Hello and welcome, fabulous people of this amazing universe. That's you I'm talking about. Don't back away, it's you, honey. You know you're fabulous. All right, it is day three. We've got four more days. So we're on day three. Day one saw us grounding into the earth and connecting with Mother Earth, releasing the materialistic needs and connecting back to our roots and our family. Day two saw us the sacral chakra where we started to become nice and warming and sensual and creative with ourselves first and all the different relationships we have in our lives. I hope you tossed away the ones you don't need and you picked up some good habits and relationships with your food and with yourself and with your partners and your workmates. Now, we're on to the solar plexus chakra. Now, this chakra is like the sun. It is what lights up your world every day. It is the fire within. It is your powerhouse. It is what makes you feel motivated and driven and wanting to take action on your deepest, biggest dreams. It's what says yes all the time. It's what gives you direction. It's your gut instinct. It's your knowing, your trusting, your believing, and your going forward in that direction of your dreams and becoming fabulous. It would be quite apparent if this chakra is out of balance or underactive or closed or blocked, however you want to view it, because you will feel unmotivated. You will choose the couch instead of the gym or whatever physical activity. You will choose doing nothing over giving your dreams a go. Your action, well, there wouldn't be any. You're quite content to do nothing, but then blame the world that nothing is coming to you. But it is. You're doing nothing, so you're getting nothing. That's how it works. You do something, you're gonna get something. So, if you're feeling stuck, unmotivated, no desire to ugh, do anything for yourself or for anyone else, this is the chakra that's lagging behind. But fear not, we're going to deal with it. We're going to open them up, balance them out, and get them working again. This chakra is located near your navel. This is these are the three lower energy system, lower parts of the energy system. The base, the sacrum, and the now solar plexus. Now, like I said to you before, everything is connected, yeah? So from the food that we eat to the way that we think, from the way that we think to the food that we eat to the reality that we're living, it's all connected and you are creating it. You gotta take responsibilities for where you are right now. That's the first thing. You know, when I was going through my breakup, for example, let's just use that. I remember when my uh, ex-husband was taking me on this roller coaster, right? And today it was okay, tomorrow was not okay, today it was all right, tomorrow was not all right. In my gut, I was hearing, this is not working, it's toxic, you need to go, but I was misfixed and I wouldn't listen and I thought I knew the way. Now, I was blaming him for taking me on a roller coaster. The truth and in fact, I was allowing him to take me on a roller coaster. I opened up the gateways and said, hey honey, let's roll. I'm on the ride with you. I had the choice. And this is what this chakra is about. It's about choice. You have the choice. What are you gonna do with it? Take responsibility for your life. For the way you look, the way you feel, the way you talk, the way you walk. The way everything is in your life right now, you've done it. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear and don't want to agree because they say, I didn't manifest this shit in my life. Honey, you did. People said, I didn't manifest the cheating that went on with my ex, but I did somehow. I don't look at it anymore as, oh, he cheated on me. 
I no longer wanted to be in that type of relationship that I had. And I remember saying it to his face and to the universe. I just want someone that was more like me, that was more spiritual, that was more grounded to the earth, that was less materialistic, blah, blah, blah. Well, that wasn't the person I was married to. He served a purpose back then, and that was good. But now, he, he wasn't aligned with me anymore. So the cheating happened and bang, it was over. And it was traumatic beginning to find out. But the more I looked into it, the more I realized, the more I took responsibility, not for his cheating, I'm not condoning that nonsense. I'm simply saying, I didn't want to be aligned with that person anymore and I can't change people. It means I want to be with someone else. It means I want to make a different choice. So the universe helped me out and made it quick and fast instead of lagging and dragging it out the entire time. Now I'm in a beautiful relationship, loving and kind and spiritual and just perfect. Because I listened to my gut, I felt, I took the necessary action and now I am the person I meant to be living the life I want to live, just like you are going to be too. So let's dive in. I'm sure you're getting used to the cards by now. It's day three. And like I said, there's so many different components, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, uh, that to go through all of them in seven days is really difficult. Again, if you're you're on day three and you're not feeling any changes, which you should be. If you're taking action, you would be feeling. Uh, but if you want a deeper insight and more specific to you, see me, come see me. I do my bookings over Skype every day. Um, there's limited spaces, obviously, so send me an email. All the information's down below. And get in contact with me. Book yourself a reading, get a deeper insight, more specific to you, yada, yada, and the rest. But for now, let's get on into day three, of the sacral chakra and what the universe wants us to focus on. <laughs> yes, it's telling us the solar plexus. It's telling us that we've got a lot of work to do here. So I need to grab another card. Here's the other one that was throwing itself out. Inner child. Now, we've been doing this adult thing for a while, hey? Mm. How's that going for you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bills, 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 bills. Reality sucks. It's hard. It's annoying. It's this. It's that. What would a child do? Mm -hmm. Child would have a lot more fun than we are right now. When we look at things in a much more playful way. It's time for you to... Embrace the inner you. It's time, it's time for you to embrace the inner you. The inner child, the child that is playful, the child that allows the fire within to drive them. A kid just runs and jumps. It doesn't think too much. The minute you start to think so much up here and you lose the connection within here, you've lost the dream. You're no longer going for the dream. You're going for your head and oh boy, oh boy, where's that got you? So I want you to become more playful. Take a more relaxed view. Even going through these seven chakras, do it in a playful way. Color your journal. Make it fun. Have a laugh. Get emotional. Be a kid again. Be free. I'm not asking you to be careless, okay? Not careless, but carefree. Have playfulness, innocence, wonder. Ask questions, dive in deep and learn. Learn about this new way of life. Accept it on board. Take it in a very, very playful, innocent way and activate it. So I want you to get your journal out. And I want you to write down three things that you're going to do like a child. That's going to bring some fun into your life. That's going to make you take some sort of action, perhaps some adventure. 
And that's going to make you connect to your gut instinct and your feeling. I want you to feel. Act upon those feelings and thus become that fabulous person that is just waiting to burst out of you. Come and meet me. I want to see all of you. So, namaste. Enjoy your day or your evening, whatever time you're looking at this video. Make sure that you've gone through all the videos. Make sure you do your homework at the end of this before going into the next chakra. I will see you for day four where we're halfway, halfway up the internal energy system. Halfway to be fabulous. I mean, by now you should start feeling a lot better than you were before. That fabulous person, I can feel it. I, 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 could, I could just get the juiciness out of you already. So take that childlike approach, release the old adult for five minutes, and have fun. Just have fun. All right, until then guys, namaste. Stay, enjoy it, live it with passion. Make peace with your path. You are right there. Don't be upset about anything. You are right where you're meant to be. We're right here together because we were meant to be together. Lots of love and I'll see you real soon for day four, the green chakra, the heart chakra.